for once the studio is actually clean. Good morning ladies and gentlemen, vlog number 343. A bit of a late start to the day today because I've had a lot of things in the last few days that I've needed to do, just really small, minor things. But I have a few admin related things to do today and also I don't have any fuses for my soft boxes. You know how my soft boxes broke last time? Where's, where's the other one? Oh there, yeah. Both of those soft boxes popped their fuses. I haven't found a replacement that fits this uh, fuse holder thing. I don't know much about fuses, but it doesn't look the same as the one that came out of there. So I'm still looking, which means the video that I was originally gonna shoot for the studio, which was gonna be a product review. I'm not gonna tell you what it was because that would spoil it. It was a product review. It was gonna have some product shots. It was gonna have a sound test, but I can't do any of those things with only two lights. So instead today, I think I'm gonna do a top 10 video. I know the top 10 videos are quite popular, but this one is gonna be for four and a third octave marimba pieces. So solos that are more for beginner to intermediate level on small marimbas because everyone keeps asking me, can you name some four and a third octave marimba pieces for high school, blah, 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 blah. And obviously my piece isn't written for four and a third. Sorry about that. So I'm gonna do a video on that today, but first I've got a few other things to clear up because the next couple of weeks are gonna be quite good. I've always wanted to have another cutting mat for this table because this table already has one and I tend to do a lot of unboxings and other uh, small things on this table, so I like having another cutting mat, and they're so cheap anyway, like this was five dollars. But this one has a little stain, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, that's not dead stock. Anyway, the first thing that is happening that is exciting is my graduation, which is happening next Thursday, 3rd of August, at Winthrop Hall, and it's my last graduation ceremony for now, or maybe forever, I don't know, but definitely for a while. It's for my Master of Music, and obviously this will be my third graduation ceremony in three years, I think. And literally, I'm most excited for this one because it's like very different. You get to sit on stage, you get to wear a different robe. So the first thing is I have to buy my gown. Now, I was gonna hire it, but the difference between hiring and sale is so close anyway. So I think I might as well just buy it. Peacock Blue Masters Hood, oof. In the hood. A higher mortar board. Oh, this is all the same, okay. I'll just put L for everything, how about that? How about that? That total though, ugh, that is so expensive. Okay, order is complete, and apparently I can only pick it up the day before. That's even worse than it used to be. You used to be able to pick up the academic, well, you used to be able to pick up academic dress almost a week before, like a few days before, but this one you can only collect on the day or before the day, which is, uh, I think it's because they're cramming in all of the ceremonies together. And they've also made this new thing, which I didn't have in my honors graduation, which is if you purchase additional tickets, you get a live stream and refreshment package. So like, you, everyone gets only two tickets for the graduation and if you want to invite more people, they have to pay $25 each to sit in a lecture theater across a long way away from where you're having the ceremony. They're gonna sit in a lecture theater and they're gonna watch it on a live stream, which is kind of sad if you think about it. <laughs> I'm not paying 25 bucks just so I can sit in a lecture theater and watch a video of my, I don't know, son or daughter graduating. That doesn't make any sense. Whatever, now at least I have my overpriced gown and hood. Like, look at that price. That is, that is ridiculous. The second thing that's exciting is that the day after my graduation, I'm going to be heading to Melbourne. You might have heard that in the studio episode. Very briefly, I mentioned that I'm going to go to Melbourne. Rob, I hope to see you in a couple of weeks at the Australian Marimba competition, but uh, shout out to you. For a few reasons. One of them is because I'm going with my good friend Wilson, and of course Wilson has never been to Melbourne before. I've been to Melbourne before, but I think experiencing it with Wilson will be very, very different. It'll be a lot of fun. So it's kind of like a mini holiday. I'll only be gone for about four days. The second reason is because the Australian Marimba competition is happening during this time and a few of my favorite percussionist friends are going to be there as well. Shout out to you Rob Oetomo, I hope to see you there very very soon. So I'll pay a visit to the Australian Marimba competition. I will be very excited to see people play. I love watching people play marimba, it's just really awesome, I love it. And yeah, hopefully say hi to a few friendly faces. So yeah, I'm pretty excited for those two things. I've also had some confirmations with Gip Chan and Gip is planning a concert in Hong Kong next year and I think I'm gonna be part of that as well, which is a very huge honor. I cannot wait for all of these things to happen. And also when I come back from Melbourne, I need to plan my PASIC trip, which is gonna involve not only America for Indianapolis for PASIC, 
but also New York City and also Hong Kong. I'm thinking of stopping along at Hong Kong along the way because I'm thinking of taking Cathay Pacific that flies through Hong Kong. And I know a couple of people in Hong Kong, Gip Chan, so I think it'll be really fun. And I also heard that the Pass branch in Hong Kong is also organizing a small convention themselves. So I'll hopefully be able to coincide with that, get double the amount of percussion action. I'm very excited. But right now I am also very, very hungry. It's 6.30, so I'm gonna go out and get some food from my favorite furniture store. I think you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Okay, welcome back to the studio. I have to make that video in a second. I have a couple more emails to reply to regarding various things. This is just a power board that I've always wanted for so long now. They're from Kmart. These are the cheapest black power boards you can get. They're like $8. And like, I really need one because I'm pretty sure the reason why those popped was because the power board that it was using was not good. So yeah, hopefully this fixes the problem. So that is literally the best I can do without those two soft boxes, like just literally two lamps. I don't know how this is gonna look. I don't think it's gonna look very good, but we'll see. I only need my face because it is just a top 10 video. Ah! Honestly, it looks like a scene from some sort of interrogation <laughs> with the shadows in the background. It's just like, hello, Mr. Thompson. Hello, Mr. Thompson. I think he's talking to you. Doesn't look too bad though in terms of facial shadows and stuff. As long as I sit directly underneath this light, it doesn't look nearly as good as when I have the real soft boxes, but it's not bad. It's obviously not going to look as good as when I have three softboxes running at the same time, but um, it's the best I can do right now because I don't have any other options. Okay, this is the best I can do. It's a little bit white, like overly white, because there's a lamp right here, but I have no choice, so wish me luck. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of The Studio. My name is Adam, and it's time for another Top 10. Thank you so much for watching today's episode of The Studio. Good night. Okay, I just finished filming that episode. It took me a very, very long time because I make a lot of mistakes when I film things. I always say the wrong thing or I get lost in my train of thought or I repeat the same phrase about 10 to 15 times. As you can see, I'm completely unscripted. I don't write any scripts or anything. I don't have any prompters. I just sort of go off the top of my head all the time. I find that it makes my talking more genuine, kind of like what I do for this vlog. I don't make any scripts for what I say on this vlog. But yeah, the downside of that is of course you get a lot more outtakes, you get a lot more mistakes. I'm working on making my mistakes a little bit less prominent because I make a lot of mistakes and it's getting better like my videos are getting shorter I remember when I first filmed my first long video the raw clips was about two and a half hours long which was just way too long so this is much better I'm gonna do any more today because that took all the energy out of me. My voice is like so gone after talking crap for so long. But um, oh, oh, oh. Ah. But yeah, thank you so much for watching today's video. I'm sorry it's a little bit short, but the good news is because I'm going to Melbourne next week, I will be having 
one, two, three, four, about five daily vlogs in a row when I go to Melbourne because we'll be vlogging that obviously. And Wilson is pretty chill about vlogging so you'll see him a lot in those vlogs and that's pretty much going to be the next few. The next vlog will probably be me at my graduation so until then thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Good night! Yeah.